Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Horizon Forza 5. It's a video game, and I'm going to be doing something very different. So, here's what I realized is that you could make vinyls and decals for your car. Um, I really want a whooper one, and there is no whooper currently available when I checked. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create my own, which as far as I can tell, you have to actually legitimately create it. So once I realized you have to actually legitimately create it, I decided to make it a video. So that's going to be today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoy watching me create a whooper in this thing. <laughs> There's 3,000 layers. Let's go. If you like it, leave a like. Because let me tell you, I'm pretty sure I've killed almost half of the people that I said. Where they saw, oh, it's Forza. No, not exactly. So let's start. Apparently there is also curated groups here. I think this is stuff people have already made. So, yeah, you can make some pretty crazy stuff here. Look at the Pikachu dab. I'm not making the Pikachu dab, though. I'm making... Okay, so which shape is this best for Looper? So I think I actually need this for a base shape, right? Okay, let me see. I think the base around here should be black. And then kind of from here... Okay, let's assume that this is my starting position. All right, good. And next, the scale should be somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go around here. Okay. And rotate, skew a little bit. Kind of do want to skew it. All right, let me rotate here because Rupert has a very like it's like an oval-shaped head. Okay. Transparency? Do we need to make it a little... No, I don't need to make it transparent. Okay. Okay, next layer. Next, I think we need this for the actual color of Whooper, which I believe Whooper's color is... Yeah, I'm gonna say it's right here. Let's go here. Oh, this is over. I need this to be under. Can I move? Let's find out. Let me apply the vinyl shape for now. Go. Okay, that's the current. Okay. Move it a little bit. Scale it. Let me see. Yeah, I think that... Skewer. Wait. Move it here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see, scale it up a little bit more, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So let me see if I can cut it and then put it. Can I insert? There it is. So let me cut this. Put it there. There we go. It's a little bit better. All right, now let's see. I actually think, is there a way to me to... I suppose say, is there a way for me to select both of these? But I don't think, I think the answer is no. So let's go here. Apply a vinyl shape. Let's see, we need a little, I mean, we need his eyes, obviously. And this is also going to be black. We need to move it. We need to move him, I think. Now, believe it or not, Hooper actually has very small eyes. Yeah, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, okay, so let me... What did I just insert? Oops. Cut that. Cut this. Insert, insert. But with this one, edit the move. What did I do? Uh, is there more options? No. Right. Hmm. As far as I can tell, it looks like you can't actually go inside this again, so let me apply a vinyl shape. 
once more. Why is it? Did it forget to? Oh god, is there an undo? <laughs> I feel like I've made a horrible mistake somehow. Okay. We have to do it again because I messed up. Okay, go in here, back here. Yeah, that works. Go a little bit here. No, this sounds because it doesn't need skewering, it just needs. Yeah, scaling. So go here. Okay. Then cut. Copy. Okay. Apply a vinyl shape. Let's see. Okay. Let's move this to right here. Okay, now we got that. Next we need another shape. We need his mouth. Let's see, I think his mouth is usually a smile. So, uh, hmm, let's want to give him a different form of emotion. Want to make him sad? Nobody wants a sad whooper. Skewer a little bit. Yeah, I think that's pretty good now. Let's go there. Uh, let me see. I think the yeah, no, no, no. This makes sense. This makes sense. Okay. Next, Blooper actually doesn't have a nose. So next, we obviously need his. Actually, is this gonna be a boy or a girl? That's a very good question. To ask Wookie. Let's see. Mm, which one of these best kind of represents? Yeah, let me try this. I actually don't like the look of it, but we need to find the right color for this as well. No, it doesn't look right. Maybe this? Yeah, I think we'll, I feel like this. So let's start with black, actually, so we can have the outline of it. So, actually, it looks like he could be a Powerpuff Girl with this. <laughs> Power Whoop. But anyway, where was I? Yeah, I think. Hmm. I feel like this is not the way. Uh, you know what? This might actually be the way. Create a full on, like. Here's the problem with this is that I don't want it. I, I want it to lengthen, not like. Let me just make it the actual color. Maybe that'll help a little bit more. I think one of these is usually the color. Is it usually around purple? I, it's not the right color of purple. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is a little bit better. So can I go... No, they kind of have to be uniform in this, which is kind of annoying. See if I can cut it and then. Come here.
I'm gonna look at some of these more. Let's see if I find any. Hmm. Now well, we need to make a little like um, airplane thingies of the of the whoop. Let me see if any of these really struck my fancy. No, I don't think any of these really work with what I want. But I think more than that, I actually need to continue on with what I was doing and keep on. Yeah, because he's not done. Actually, could this have worked? May as well check for this side. You can really skewer this thing. Too much so, I think. Nah, it doesn't really work with what I'm thinking. Maybe at least two of these stacked on top of each other. Make sure that they are exactly over each other. Okay, they are. Okay, I think I need one more though. Nah, do I need one more? Yeah, I need like one more to make the pointy bit. And apply a vinyl shape. What would be a good pointy bit? I think maybe the triangle. Let's see, where's the triangle? Let's see if I can make the triangle work. Scale. Can I skewer this? I can. But in a good direction is the answer. No, I don't really think I can. Yeah, let's go back to moving it. I think it might be better without this, but just to be sure. I think that kind of works. Okay. Next shape. Let's go back over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Neat. It's a real shame that you can't just um, do it one side. It has to be both sides for some reason. That's bizarre. I wonder why. Maybe it's something I'm not realizing and you totally can. But for the way it looks to me, it looks like not possible. Maybe next. I actually need to make this look exactly the same. So let me go here. Exactly fucked up the rotation. There we go. Okay, I think that works. If only I could take, let's say, cut. Okay, I can. Okay, I can. I can. Now, funny enough, this one's actually. 
Damn. This is where we might run into a problem of. This one's technically supposed to be. Uh, actually, no, I think that works out a little bit. That works out for what I need. So let me go here and actually cut, print. And then insert again. Okay. I feel like now that I can skewer it a little bit, I think I- oh god. My kingdom for an undo button at times. I go here. Oh wait. And Gotta stop doing that. Skew. Go down to this one. Yeah. And a skew the other way. Yeah, I think that's looking much better now. Okay, now let me see. Let me see if I can select. Possible. Can I now that I've selected all of them? Can I cut them at the same time? Yes, I can. Okay, inserts, inserts, and now there should be two pairs of them, right? Yes. Okay, move. Date. Full 180. Yeah, that works. Okay, okay, okay. Next, we need to unselect this. need the whites of his eyes. Okay, so let me go to... Hmm... Scale, that's what I need. You know what it is? I think it's- I should have done this the opposite way around. I think the actual white in his eyes is very small. Hmm, okay. Let me- let me fix this. What I need to do is cut both of these. And also, tiny eyes. Alright, next. Let's go back to his eyeballs, huh? We actually need two big eyes. Let's see, maybe maybe this is a whoop of a lot of personality. Huh? Let's give them big old eyes. Like doll's eyes, huh? What do you say? Let's see how this looks.
And I think you lose a little bit of the loop for sure. So I'll go here. Add this dude to be over this side. Let's. Actually, now I think the guy is a little bit too far apart. There we go. Let's go here. Probably not at the same time. It was worth a shot, but it's not going to work if we do it at the same time. There we go. That makes sense. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so we kind of got the base. I actually think that maybe this little circle bitty here is maybe a little bit too big. Let me see if I can make an edit to it. Mm, no, unfortunately there's no real selection for... No, well, actually... We'll keep it big for now. All right, I think it's fine. All right, let's move on, shall we? Okay, next we kind of need the body. Oh, this is actually kind of tough. Okay, so we need the body here. So we kind of need to... Let's see, is this... can I skewer this enough for it to make sense? I don't think I can. Yeah, no, okay, let me see if I can try and find a better kind of body shape here for... Oh, actually, this might work. Let me go find his color. Well, actually, I can go here. Yeah, I think that kind of works. We need some more... Like... Hmm... Kind of tough because here, right in, the, right in this specific part, he kind of has like a kind of like a um, does that make a little bit more sense? Let me quickly insert that, then um, insert it again, then go in here. No, doesn't necessarily work. Hmm, okay, so I think we can... See, there has to be, I think, a shape here that kind of... Mm, maybe this shape is actually more what I'm looking for. Okay. It is kind of more of a beaker-esque body shape than what Wubri actually has. Maybe if I rotate it a little bit, kind of get the...
Yeah, not really going for what I'm... Let me, let me see this. Looking for that shape. Hmm. You know what? This might actually help. This might be what I'm looking for. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think that this might actually be. Yeah, I think that works out pretty damn good. All right, let me uh, cut that. Put it up there. Can I flip it from here? No, that did not work the way I thought it would. Okay, so let me go in here and actually still move it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's play a new, let's clean up a little bit, huh? I think there needs to be a little bit clean up on the paper. Let's just see here. Uh, actually, yeah, just a little bit more. Let me see if I can move it a little bit better. Yeah, that that's better. It was way easier to do it that way. Okay, next step, shall we? Um, hmm, we kind of need to do the outline. So I think we're already on the shape. I think it would be good to kind of keep with the, keep up with the shape that we just make. We just got right here. So where'd it go? There it is. Actually, no. I think funny enough, the other one. I think this might actually work better for what I got. Okay, so next we need to need the, like, the little underbelly thingies of Uber. I think this will work. These boomerangs might be a little bit too intense. Yeah, they're too intense. Okay, let me see now what to do, what to do. Hmm. I need like the exact right shape. It's hard to find the exact right shape sometime. Alright, let me just see if I can any of these look. Hmm. No, none of these look exactly right. Alright, let's go in here. This might. Depending on how I can skewer it. Let's look. Now the problem is I need it to indent inward. It's kind of what I actually need from it. So I'm going to have to see if this works out. No, not really. Let me try with the, the regular circle. No, no, 
not exactly. Okay. Again, yeah, not a lot of perfect one-to-ones for what I aim. Never mind. This is the perfect one-to-one. -one. Are you kidding me? Why did I not notice it sooner? Skewer it a little bit. And I think that's gonna have to do for now. Okay. Hmm. Now comes the really tough part. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just look at this real quick. Well, how would it look if I just got rid of this completely? I think that actually looks way better. So I think I'm just gonna stick with this. I tried to be fancy with the outline, but I don't think I need to be fancy for this. Okay, next final shape. Hmm. We need his tail for sure. Let me see. What what what's a good tail type look? This maybe? Let's go here. I need to skewer it a little bit. Good enough, not for me at least. Okay, let's see. Let's let's quickly go to his uh, feet. Now this is a whooper in action. So actually, whooper's feet for me are usually the hardest thing to draw. a little less. There we go. No, okay, let's see. Let me look at his feet when they're in the down position. Maybe that'll help me a little bit. Hmm. Helps a little bit. But not by like a wide margin. I guess my question is, is like, what what is this whooper doing? What is his call to action right now? You know, actually, you know what? I think it would be better if, because I think the most thing that's worrying me here is that his belly actually is in a position that would typically have for a non kind of moving action. So let me see if I can. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I will just have him kind of jumping in the air. No one talks about the feats of Wooper, but I really do think it, it's a very hard draw. Okay, go here. Cuts. Cut. Cut. Here. Hmm. You know, you see what I mean here with the with the leg situation. You know what, maybe if it'd be better cut them both real quick, real, real quick. Um, what if they were actually kind of looking at a you know, I don't know. Let's see, they might be better like this.
Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. quick gotta find the right shape quickly go down Might actually take multiple for this one. Funny enough, I think it's actually too big over here. No, I don't want that. There we go. This should be the final one to finish it off. Yeah, 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 I think that makes sense. Alright, now let's actually go back to the head area, because I feel like now we can actually move his head down a little bit. So let me quickly go select here, here, here. Just this specific head. Edit. Okay. I think now a little bit of his body up here, but we can fix that. I was going to say we could fix that probably with cutting a little, but I realize I don't think I can cut here. So let me see. Oh, I know how to fix it. All right, let me move. I have to unselect everything now. Okay, let's go, let's go. There we go. Um, yes, cut that. And I think insert here. There we go. Okay, next we need the tail. And I think that's actually the last piece of Wooper that we actually need. So let's see which one of these would best be kind of suited for a tail. Feeling like this might end up being it. See if I can secure it a little bit.
Yeah, that's totally it. <laughs> that is totally 100% it. So let's see. Hmm, how am I looking at my whoops so far? I'm kind of liking... Is this it? Let me see, more... Yeah, I'm liking them, I'm liking them. Okay. Yeah, I think he's looking pretty sharp. I like it. Personally, I like it. Alright, let's see now. Um, I think all that's left now is for me to save. Please. This is obviously... Ooh, burn. Wooba wooba. Wooba wooba. Wooba wooba. Keywords. Logo, Raising Replica, Cartoon. I got... Yeah, he's pretty anime. And is he an anime? Is Wooper an anime character? I'm gonna say yes. Well, this is if I want to share him. I don't want to share him with the world yet. It's fine. Yeah. Is he saved though? That's my question. Yeah, he's on there. Okay, good. Now, paint car. Now comes the part where I try and figure out how the fuck do I put him on. Now I remember now. I think I have to actually go to my designs, I think. Go here. Paint car. This is gonna take me a while to figure out. Man. Some of this stuff is not very easy to figure out where the fuck things go. Maybe I go to my vinyl groups? here maybe if I go to paint car funny thing is, is I totally remember there being a way of doing something Ah, oh, there it is. I'm so stupid. Let's see, where is the... Load a vinyl group. <laughs> a little too big, my boy. Yeah, look at him. Look at my boy. <laughs> Up on the... <laughs> let me, uh... Alright, let me go to the... Can I not apply to the hood? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think that's why he looks the best. Alright. I mean, obviously, this is on one door. It should be on... It should honestly be on both. <laughs> I mean, we need a little one right here, right? Like you know, you know, like a like a baby. Oh, you know what? No, we need a shiny version. Yeah, save to current car. Please save my work.
Please save my work. The people need to see it. All right, my vinyl groups. This one. Load vinyl group. Let me see if I can... Um... Okay, this one. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, so let me first make sure I'm saving this. And just to be sure, my vinyl groups, shiny whoop. Okay. How do I go into these layers is my question. It's not 100% what I want. I'm going to be very annoyed if it turns out. Maybe if I create a mask. Whoa! I mean, that's pretty cool. Looks like he can't. Well, chances are, it looks like I can actually make. If I. Let's see, I was gonna try and see if I can make a. Oh, I see how. Okay. Do I? Okay. Hmm. I think that's actually too deep of a. Yeah, I think that's the right. Yeah, I think that's the right shade of pink. Okay, let me look up shiny whooper because some of the properties of shiny whooper I don't remember. There we go. Yeah, so even the horn colors are a little bit different. Let me just quickly select them all. That way, I can change the color of all of them. Okay, so it's kind of more of a, yeah, like kind of like more oxy oxalotl, which is what is a whooper is based off of. Okay, I think from here it's pretty easy because I just go all the blue. I'll start with the blue for now. color. Alright. Alright, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, that's kind of what he 
Actually, this beat looks a little bit different. So let me go into it. It's actually more like a... Yeah, a little bit, not like full on. Not from like full on, there's like a brownish to it that I think is not properly conveyed. Let me look at the other colors. Mm, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. It's not the exact one to one here, but it's fine. Okay, so let me. Now because it is a shiny, obviously, it should be much harder to find compared to the others. Yeah, yeah. And actually, I, I, I don't want it to feel alone, so let me actually... There we go. Both of them. Two of them. Alright, that is officially it. That is the whoop card. So let me... Yeah, save the current car, obviously. We need to take a... It's not finished until I take a full-on picture of it. So, let's go out. My cars. Obviously, I had to pay for it. Well, yeah, how the fuck do I just play? I think I've been logged out of whatever the hell. Ba -ba All this music. Yeah, baby. Hide the UI, please. No one can truly appreciate the whoop car if they do not see the whoop car in all its glory. All right. Save. Woo! Don't need to share. This is really only for me. So, that is the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very different. It was also very long, almost an hour long of me creating and designing the Whoop car. But I hope it's uh, it was enjoyable. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.